Congratulations, Brad. Over here to your right, Angela Bishop from Network 10 Australia. Hi, how are you? How are you? G'day. Um, congratulations on the award, on the film, on your performance. It was all extraordinary. Thank you. What's your Tinder profile going to say now? <laughs> You'll just have to look it up. <laughs> Some unkind souls have suggested you've had a writer throughout the speeches this award season. Say it ain't so. Well, no, I've actually, historically, I've, I've always been really tentative about speeches. Like, they make me nervous. So this, this round, I figured if we're going to do this, I'm, like, put some, like, some real work into it and try to get comfortable. And, and this is the result of that. Um, no, I, I, I definitely write them. I have some funny friends. I have some very, very funny friends that help me with, with some laughs. But, but no, it's, you know, it's got to come from the heart. Thank you. Number 12 and 268 on deck. Hey, Brad Carlos Bustamante with Entertainment Tonight Canada. How's it going? Congratulations, by the way. Thanks. Um, it's been a pleasure for all of us watching you go up uh, award show after award show this season. And it'll certainly be something that we all remember looking back. When you look back on 2020 uh, and this award season, what do you want to remember? On 2020 award season? Well, this, uh, yes, this season, this year. What do I want to... Uh, hell if I know, man. I can't even catch up with this. <laughs> Um, I, you know, what do I, again, it was, uh, for me, it was just about getting cozy, you know, up in, 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 uh, front of a mass of people. I know this sounds, uh, antithetical given the profession I've chosen, but, but it's not, it's not necessarily my thing. So that's probably what I, what I'll remember. Most. Number 268. No, 66. Um, yeah. Yeah. Is next. 268? Yeah. yeah, 66 is after you. Um, Brad, as referenced earlier, you had a lot of humor in your previous speeches this season, but tonight you did uh, have your a political reference. What kind of prompted you to go that way? Uh, I was really disappointed with this week. And I think when game and ship trumps doing the right thing, it's a, it's, a, it's a sad day, and I don't think we should let it slide. And I'm very serious about that. 66, followed by 90. Hi, congratulations on Hi. your win. Uh, it's Jen Dreisel with ET. Uh, you mentioned your kids in your acceptance speech, and Quentin Tarantino said that your son Maddox delivered one of the best film reviews he's ever heard. So what's his review of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Oh, I, I'm going to keep that. I, I just keep that to the... I keep, I, I keep that... That's, that's like... Um, I just keep that in, indoors. How are you going to celebrate with your kids? Don't know yet. We'll see. <laughs> Thank you. Number 90, followed by 295. Hi, Pat. Uh, Carlos Aguilar from Bramesca, over here. Oh. Um, in your speech, you mentioned Robert Garcia. Uh, could you talk about who Robert Garcia is and why did you decide to mention him in your speech? Robert Garcia is a dear, dear old friend of mine. Um, he's a teamster. And uh, I, I rely on him heavily. And, uh, and he's a lovely guy. 295. Hello, Brad. Uh, congratulations, Juan Carlos Garcia from Mexico Reforma newspaper. Uh, you say that you were dedicating this to your kids. What would you say to them if they want to become actors? Would you let them do it? And what would be the advice that you, that you would give them to them? Uh, we can have that conversation if once they're 18. <laughs> and then I would listen. I want them to follow their bliss. Uh, you know, follow their passions. Whatever, whatever they're uh, most interested in. And then it's, then I think it's about, you know, guiding as you can, but that they get to try everything on and find what, what, where their passion lies. So, sure, why not? Number 158. Tanya Hart, right over here. Hi, Brad, how hey. are you? Congratulations. Thanks. Are you having the time of your life? You know, you've, had, you've walked up and won every single award. Is it the time of your life? Uh, no, well, <laughs> no, I hope not. <laughs> I hope I got other <laughs> going on. Um, uh, uh, but it, it has been a really special, a really special run. And again, it's a community I love and friends that I've made over, you know, 30 years and, and um, that mean a lot to me, truly. And, uh, and I feel, feel uh, a responsibility to that more than anything. 
uh, more than like a victory lap. And so I, I think about, like right now, I'm just looking, f I, think it's, I think it's time to go disappear for a little while now and, you know, get back to making things. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes, get back to the seat. Good? All right. Thank you all.